Whoa, what's up guys? Sitter Stalker here for a video. This video would be a movie Blu-ray review video. I got a big old stack of some movies up there I want to talk to you guys about. Let's get down to it right now. <laughs> All right, first off, I'm going to start off with a great company, Vinegar Syndrome, with this cool classic by Graydon Clark is this one. Wacko in brand new 4K restoration of this cool flick. Graydon Clark, he also directed this movie, Joysticks. It was a great other movie he did back in the day and a lot of other cool movies like Uninvited and things like that. And this movie right here made in the early 80s. One of the very first like horror comedies was this. It was pretty much only available on VHS. I think some bootlegs, but now it's on Blu-ray. looks really great. Pretty much the story takes place as this 13 years ago. There's a pumpkin prom party and there's a crazy killer on the loose, the lawnmower killer. He's whacking off all kinds of rascally teenagers. And in doing so, this one uh, sister of the other, one of the sisters got attacked. They marry Graves. Um, years later, she's just traumatized. And a prisoner escapes from the mental ward and is on the loose again. Is it the lawnmower killer? Is it not? We don't know what to find out. And this cool horror comedy caper is this one, directed by Graydon Clark. Great movie, uh, just a super fun one right here. Really cool extra features, this thing I'll show you right now. A closer look of it with the original artwork. You have new commission artwork too in this thing, a nice reversible sleeve, as Vinegar Syndrome always does. And this you have a brand new commentary track with the director Graydon Clark, which is fantastic. Interview with cinematographer, never before seen outtakes, trailer, all that kind of deal on this thing. Just a fun movie, fantastic, definitely if you like. Horror comedies and that kind of stuff. This is one of the very first ones that did it. This one is super fun, wacky, um, you know, wacko. It is really, it's really, really good. Also from Vinegar Syndrome is a double feature sci-fi pack of practical effects. Awesomeness is this one, Battle for the Last Planet and Mutant War. Um, a couple of nice B-movie, you know, sci-fi action flick gold is this. A lot of cool stop motion animatronics like Ray Harryhausen stuff, a B-movie status. Cool practical effects, some you know, really nice cheesy acting. Good fun ones right here. These are the really good double feature. I'll show you the back of it right now. Director's introduction for both films. Really good stuff. Just fun practical effects, like a little demon sci-fi thing right there. Here's the cover. Um, so like really just both like nice fun ones. I mean, the cool science fiction B-movie gold is this. Definitely enjoyed watching these both. They're very, very cool. Next up here also is another Vinegar Syndrome title. Is this one called party line never heard of this one before until i got this to check out really interesting movie it takes place like the late 80s early 90s kind of like a slasher or like erotica slasher movie is this a uh, brother and sister they grew up in like this beverly hills area like a nice rich area in beverly hills and uh, they have a secret lifestyle they like to pick up people on the party line like these little numbers you call people up to do hookups and that kind of thing, but they don't know it's like a crazed killer in a loose that likes to cut people's throats and that kind of thing in this. So there's a ticket on the case of who is this crazy party line killer. And this really good, like say like late eighties, early nineties style flick is this in LA style. See all the cool like LA things, some really good scenery and stuff back in the day. Like almost like a, like you know, like the, like the Skinamax craze of Cinemax. Sort of like that kind of vibe to it in this one. This stars like Leif Garrett, who's a you know, 70s kid actor. It's also this really cool movie called Devil Times Five, like a killer kid movie. He's in that one. He's in this right here. Uh, What's a really fun, cool, interesting, erotic thriller one is this. It's a nice, like, you know, B quality to it, but in a really good way is this. And real quick, you're wondering what I'm watching. I'm checking out Mutant Hunt on the VHS realms over there. Nice, really low budget. Sci-fi flick, just you know, background fun stuff. In case you're wondering, what the heck is that? Mutant Hunt, I definitely highly recommend it. But next up here, some titles from Arrow Video, another great company right up here is this one. One of my favorites as a kid growing up is The Horror Express. Really great movie starring Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, and Telly Savalas. And they're on this train, traveling through Moscow, and it's like winter cold out, and there's like this weird they have like these crates in the back and these crates. If you look at this crazy crate, there's like a monster. And if you look at it, it makes your eyes turn bloody white. And this really neat mystery horror flick is this of like, what is going on? Who done it? Style film in the 70s. Great movie. Definitely highly recommend The Horror Express. I believe it was a kid's one of the very first VHS tapes. I remember my grandma and grandpa bought was The Horror Express. I believe I still have it. The slipcase of it somewhere here in a box in the back. 
But yeah, like the very first one I remember as a kid watching, it's like at four or five years old, watching the Horror Express. One of the very first horror flicks I remember even checking out is this one. So glad it's a you know, nice 2K restoration transfer on a Blu-ray is this. It looks so good. Pack of all kinds of features. Lots of extra features. This thing is Aero Video always as they never disappoint. They have a great commentary track by you know a couple of film historians, uh, behind the scenes, interviews, original trailer, all that stuff. And just a really great, well-made movie is this one, The Horror Express. Great set, great ensemble cast. Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Telly Savalas. You cannot go wrong. I highly, highly recommend you guys check this one out. One of my all-time favorites. I'm so glad it's you know available now in a nice, amazing transfer, how it should be done. Next up here from Arrow Video is a great Japanese horror classic in Blu-ray now. 2K restoration is Takashi McKay's audition in this amazing transfer this classic you know probably my favorite japanese horror flick is this one during that time in the late in the like mid late 90s early 2000s started making these cool japanese horror flicks the big scene this is one of the ones probably one of the best ones most it's, it's definitely i would think is this one super super great good classic it started it takes place as this uh, director he's recently widowed and stuff like that so he's doing like the this these sort of like these castings like fake castings of interviewing women young women and it's like an audition, but it's not really an audition. It's to see if he can find the perfect woman so he can date and marry and that kind of thing. He's recently went up, but he finds this one girl, but she's not really what he, that he thinks that she is. He casts the wrong one with her, and the ending of this thing is so disturbing. It's just it's fantastic. Just so like, oh my God, if you're a guy, you're like, ouch. You know what I mean? Toward the end of this thing, it's just like, ah. Ouch, yeah. Uh, just a great classic, loaded with all kinds of features. 2K restoration, audio commentary by the man himself, Takashi McKay, amazing Japanese horror director, amazing. Cool um, interview with uh, Takashi McKay, a brand new one. Just all kinds of good stuff in this thing. Get the reversible cover art, sleep on the original cover art. I just have this one, the new commission one. I just like how it looks on there. Right, next up is a Giallo 70s uh, classic I've never seen before, The Fifth Chord. Definitely enjoyed this one. I've never seen it before. Nice, you know, slow burn, giallo mystery horror style flick is this. About this guy barely survives a brutal attack on him on New Year's Eve night by this crazy maniac. In doing so, he's interviewed by the cops and his detective, uh, acted by Franco Nero, is on the case to find out who done it. And by doing so, he does an, uh, the, the attacks happen again. And all, there's no really no clue except this, like a black glove. And each victim has a finger missing so it's like a whodunit of who is out there lurking around through these crazy killings in the fifth chord another giallo type style movie is this that goes great with the fifth chord is this one starring edwidge french strip nude for your killer look at that isn't that cover amazing the title of that movie so good strip nude for your killer always was curious about this one right here and did not disappoint nice kind of grimy a lot of like sexual overtones is this uh, motorcycle wearing killers on the loose, uh, killing fashionistas and uh, models and that kind of thing from his age. He just goes on the loose and just starts killing them. And kind of like a whodunit, you know, and that kind of stuff. 1970s style with the clothes and some weird, like, strange kind of grimy sexual overtones in this thing. Definitely uh, enjoyed this right here. Uh, really good watch. I really liked it. I never saw it before. Always just curious about it. And some great features in the back of this 2K restoration, uh, interviews, you know, commentary tracks, all kinds of loaded up stuff in this thing right here. Um, so good. Um, definitely enjoyed this. I mean, like I said, look at that cover art. So good. To bring in the title of that thing, that's an amazing title strip, Nude for Your Killer. Now, some movies, a few titles from Umbrella Entertainment. Oh, yes, here we go right now. So up here we get these ones. Most movies I'm not really into as much, but they're still pretty well made for what they are. This little drama here called uh, Walkabout. A uh, nice little Australian drama is this. Um, pretty enjoyable watch was that, but not stuff I'm not really into as much. Um, you get a nice Western one right here. Classic John Wayne flick, The Shootist. Um, really well made. If you like Westerns, this is definitely a great one uh, to get right here. It looks really good on DVD. And last but not least from Umbrella is this uh, movie, uh, sorry, no, Denzel Washington, Kevin Klein, and Cry Freedom. Not, not really my type of movie that I normally watch, mostly the horror and B-movie stuff, but still 
some neat new ones from Umbrella Entertainment. If you're into these ones and more, check out the really good company. These are all uh, region free, by the way. They have the you know, little things. So don't worry about this. You can play them on your, D on your DVD, Blu-ray player without no, no, no issues at all. If you want to get these titles and more, check out Umbrella Entertainment. They're really cool. Oh, company. man. I am done now with the reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nice little uh, lengthy uh, reviews right there. So if you want to get those titles at and more, Links down below for each of those companies. Check them out. Some really good stuff right there. All available right now. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what, you're, uh, what you think about my videos and what you think of the titles right there and what stuff you might pick up or not. And uh, things like that. And uh, this is another further note, different note. A lot of weird deaths happened recently, like a day ago. 90210's Luke Perry passed away. He had a massive stroke. He passed away. The group Prodigy, the, the, the song Fiestata, Keith Flint, he passed away. And uh, you know, pro wrestling legend King Kong Bundy uh, he's passed away last night. So three, three deaths in a day. It was horrible. So my thoughts and prayers go out to them and their families. Just, you know, just, man, it's just unbelievable that those deaths just happened. It was always in threes, it seems like, and three passed away in, in the same day. It's just absolutely nuts. I just want to put that out there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you later on the next video. I'll see you. Bye-bye.